hello everyone you guys are welcome back to the channel i'm so so sorry that i've been away for a very long time i've had a lot going on i had midterm exams i had relationship issues blah 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 so it, it's actually uh, a lot but i'm glad i'm back to you guys uh, i think we i haven't posted uh, a video for like a month now or sent anything to to spotify for a month but i'm glad i'm back and i promise you i will try to be more consistent uh, from now on So how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comment section. How are you guys doing for the past one month? What's new in your life? Any uh, new major achievements? Any fun activity ongoing? I want to know. I want to really get to know you all. So uh, today we'll be talking about an interesting topic especially for undergraduates and graduate students who will be graduating soon or even freshmen you just are uh, coming into college and you want to know certain things uh, that will help you in the long run so today's topic is is internship important why are people talking about internship what's the importance of internship can I get a job after graduating without having any internship experience without going for internship? The reason why I say this is because most grad students, especially those in uh, MSc, uh, they have a 12-month contract with their professors, which simply means during the summer period, they may not be able to go out and get internship. So how do I navigate that area when I have a 12-month contract with my professor? I'm doing research with my professor. I can't go out for uh, for internship during the summer period and we're going to talk about uh, all of these and uh, seniors who plan to graduate soon what are the things I need to help me in the competitive market we're going to talk about that here today first of all what is internship internship is a period of work experience are offered by an organization for a limited period of time so you are not a full-time staff in quotes but you get to work with the organization you you're being paid now internship some internship are paid internship while other internship are unpaid internship uh, so you have to figure out which one you really want but uh in, in the state of maryland i believe that most of the internship opportunities are paid because the organizations know that the this uh students are going to commute to work these students need our uh, money for gas and need to buy lunch so they will give you stipends they're not they're not going to give you a salary in quotes but they will give you stipends and it depends on the kind of organization you're working with so the, the stipends the stipends range from different organization to different organization but it's really important that you seek out organizations that actually offer paid internships so while you're working and while you're learning you're also getting some uh, monetary benefit so the main purpose of internship is basically to implement the classroom classroom learning in the real world situation so you've been in class for the past one year or for the past two years you've been learning getting uh information from your professors writing midterm exam writing final exam writing quizzes and tests now it's time to implement all those uh, knowledge you've acquired from reading books and from going to classes in the real world and I usually tell people that the situation the classroom situation sometimes it's completely different from what you find in the real world you may be in classroom and you're trying to look for the value of value of x you're doing the y the x calculus and every of that but in the real world you are not finding the value of x rather you're trying to make sure that your project is in line with the scope budget and time so it's completely different in class you're finding the y the x in the real world you, you you you're thinking how can i make sure that this project meets the deadline how can i make sure that my uh, colleagues and my workers are doing the right thing so so you see it's different so all those skills you've acquired in the classroom it's time to actually implement these skills in the reward so that is why uh, the internship is really important now i'm going to give you some of the benefits of going for internship so number one is that you learn valuable work experience now let me let me let me paint two scenarios for you you have a fresh graduate fresh out of out of college 
he has no internship experience, no work experience, and he applied. He applied for a, a no entry level position that said that you only need zero to two years working experience to get hired. Now he has zero work experience, and then he applied for the position. And on the other hand, we have a fresh graduate also applying for the same position, but this time around, this person has a different uh, internship experience, which is also the work experience. So uh, from his freshman to his senior year, every summer and every winter, he goes out to different organizations, learning different skills, acquiring this working experience. Who do you think the employee is going to pick first? The fresh out of uh, fresh uh, graduate with zero work experience or a fresh graduate with multiple internship experience. As an employer, you're going to pick the guy with internship experience. That is the difference. So with the internship, you get work experience and this internship experience, you can put it in your CV. You, you necessarily do not have to work for a whole year before you put that experience in your CV. It can be two months internship. It can be three months internship. It can be a six months internship. Those internship experience should be in your CV. And take note, when you're going for this internship, make sure that the internship opportunity you, you're applying to are those opportunities that are in line with your with what you study in school, in line with your career path, you understand? You, you do not want to be studying engineering and then you're doing your internship in a different uh, field entirely. You understand? You want a situation whereby your internship experience is in line with what you're studying in school because you know when you graduate, that is a part you're going to uh, go into. You understand? So number one, it's you, help, you will learn valuable work experience. Number two, you develop competencies and skills that employers are seeking so in some of this internship you get to use some softwares that you don't use in the classroom you get to use different softwares you go for site visitation especially those in the engineering so i'm making reference to engineering because i'm certain engineering you you go for site visitation you learn uh you develop competences and some of these skills are really really important because when you graduate these are the skills employers are looking for they're asking what uh, softwares uh, can you use? What skills do you have? All of these skills you can learn during the internship, you understand? So while you're doing your internship, do not limit yourself, be open to learn. Meet the people working there, tell them, teach me the software, teach me this, teach me this, I want to learn. So the internship is a period for you to learn, you understand? So you're learning, you're developing the skills, and when you finally graduate, and you go into the, the to the uh, workforce market. These employers will know that you have the relevant skills that this job require. Now, for those of you who haven't started looking for a job, if you go to some job some uh, company's website, you see them requiring uh, listing out some of the skills that is re required for this job. And take note: you're just graduating, and some of the skills you do not have. The best way to acquire all of these skills is through internship. Number three, you learn about yourself and a career path. Now, as I said before, in engineering, whether you're studying uh, civil engineering or mechanical engineering, there are different areas in mechanical engineering. There are different areas in civil engineering. So when you go for internship, you get the opportunity to visit each of these departments and learn things from this department. With that, you'll be able to uh, kind of find a Parts that you're most comfortable with. So if you're in civil engineering, you, you get to uh, uh, know if you want to go into design or if you want to go into the consultation or the uh, site supervision. During the internship, you you in the design department, you're learning, am I really uh, good with the design? Is this something I want to do uh, in the long run? Or you want to go into the uh, site visitation, people management, like is this what I want to do in the long run? I want to be uh, managing people on the job. So during your internship, you get to know what career path is good for you. And also, you can use experiences from your internship to actually build your uh, master's thesis. You understand? You can do that to build your master's uh, thesis. And number four, it helps you expand your network. Now, some organizations take their interns to uh, conferences, uh, to uh, 
other states, other branches, and then with this, you're able to expand your network. You're able to meet other people in the in the industry and make friends with them. So at the end of the day, if you want say a recommendation from these people, you can easily reach out to these people for them to give you a recommendation, or you can reach out to this network if you eventually need a job in the nearest future. In a time, so with this, you're able to build your network now. When you are in school, the people around you are other students and professors. But when you are in the workforce, in your internship, the people around you are professionals in that industry. You see the difference? Are you seeing the difference? So it's good to build network in the industry. And then finally, finally, you will have the opportunity of getting a full-time job offer after the internship. I have a friend of mine who went for a three month internship and on completion of the internship, he got a full-time job offer waiting for him after graduation. He just did three months internship with them. He proved to the company that he, he, he was ready to work and ready to learn. And at the end of the internship, he was given an offer letter. So when you go for internship, you, you have like an urge in that organization if you plan to come back to the organization for a full-time job. You understand? So when you when you enter for an organization, you have like an urge, you, you have there's a possibility of getting a full-time offer after your internship period. And the question I get from students is how then do I find this internship opportunity? Yes. I'm a student, I'm a freshman, I'm a junior, I want this internship or uh, experience that will help me get a job after, but how do I find this internship opportunity? How do I know that companies need interns? So number one, you have to visit the career fair in your school. So if your university has a career fair, go to this career fair with your CV or just go there and ask questions. Different organizations are going to come to your career fair, meet these organizations and ask them, do you have internship opportunity in your organization? And most of these organizations will say yes. At that point, you're making contact you're collecting your email you're sending your cv to them or you're even giving them the cv on the spot you understand so one quick way of uh, get uh, finding internship opportunity is by going to career fairs number two is by going to conferences you have different conferences on college different conferences in different states and sometimes your school or your professor will sponsor your visit to these conferences so go for these conferences and when you go for these conferences you see different organizations having their uh their boot stand and then you go over to the boot stand and say oh what is your organization all about now remember you have to ask questions if you do not ask questions you may not get the answer you're looking for so walk up to them ask them questions what is your organization all about this is what this is my major this is what i'm interested in does your organization offer such and such services is there an internship opportunity in your organization i want to join your organization and boom if you were able to convince them you get the internship opportunity and then finally how to find internship uh, opportunity is by going through the website of the organization so you have like a list of different organizations you plan to work with go to the website check read information about the website and then sometimes most of these organizations they post internship opportunities on the website so when you're on the website you are able to apply directly to this internship opportunity from the website and also you can go to linkedin linkedin is a professional networking uh system go there network with people uh send uh, a connection request to individuals who are working in the organization you plan to work for tell them oh i'm interested in internship opportunities in your organization can you tell me what i need and how do i go about applying and this person's working in this organization will be super excited to give you all the relevant information you need to get the internship opportunity so ladies and gentlemen what are you waiting for very soon we're going to have the winter break you can start going for internship now apply to organizations for the winter uh, internship or you can start applying for organizations for the summer 2023 internship opportunity do that now do not wait till january before you start applying do not wait till may before you start applying for summer internship start now you can start now and get the offer waiting for you till 
this summer 2023 okay okay uh, i'm glad you learned something if you have any friend or siblings who are still in grad school or who are still in undergrad send this video to them so they know about internship opportunity and they get to use the information and build skills build a uh, competence and build working experience remember the first thing an employer is going to look at is your cv and all of these things should be in your cv before you get an opportunity for an interview the first thing you're going to look at is your cv so build your cv with those working experience okay okay good thank you for stopping by and please do it to like comment and share this video and podcast to your friends so they too can learn take care of yourself and i'll see you next week